warning, asphaltic materials and tools are hot. Serious injury may occur if caution is not exercised when handling the equipment and materials. Personal protective equipment must be used at all times. Okay, there's on a 104, sampling from the plate. This is the roadway, this black tarp, this is one edge, that's the other edge. You need to place the plate in front of the lay down machine, approximately one foot in from the edge. You make sure that you hold the wires down while the lay down machine is passing. Once the lay down machine is passed, you have material on your plate. This area right here. We have our bucket. We're going to move the plate, raise the wires, move the plate just enough so that we, we can identify the edges of the plate. Starting at the beginning of the plate, take one shovel full from the center part of the plate. You can see the material that's left in to the trench. You don't want that. You want, want to start where you ended up with your first shovel full. Continue on. Always starting where you left off with your previous shovel full until you get to the end of the plate. That is your sample. If you need more, you can have multiple plates sitting side by side. When sampling ACFC mixtures, an adequate amount of material shall be taken from the truck at the mixing plant and placed into a 5 gallon bucket or other suitable container. The sample shall be taken from at least three random locations, approximately 12 inches below the surface and within five minutes from the time the loading of the truck has been completed. When sampling finished AC pavement, the samples of AC from finished pavement shall be taken through the complete thickness of the pavement or lift in such a manner which causes minimum disturbance of the sample. If a coring apparatus is used, the coring bit shall be subjected to enough vertical pressure to penetrate the pavement without causing damage to the equipment or disturbance of the sample. The minimum core diameter shall be 4 inches. If coring equipment is not available, the sample may be taken with the use of a saw, pick, or jackhammer, or other suitable means if a suitable specimen can be obtained for the intended testing. All samples shall be handled carefully so that they maintain their original form. The samples shall be transported on a relatively flat surface and adequately protected to preserve their shape and to prevent damage. The use of ice may be found helpful in obtaining and or preserving the condition of the specimen. Samples shall be delivered to the laboratory for testing as expeditiously as reasonably possible. Samples shall be transported carefully in a covered container out of extreme environmental conditions. When sampling miscellaneous placement of bituminous mixtures, remember it shall be obtained from locations and by means to provide appropriate representation of the AC mixture that is being placed. Please be sure to review all of the materials available in either the asphalt or field technician certification workbook.